Yo, good day guys. So today I'm gonna be doing the unboxing of the 1.8 Turbo Cylinder Head Bolts. So I've chosen to go with the ARP Head Bolts because the, the, the factory Head Bolts is not suitable for any high horsepower application. And in order for you to have a safe and secure application, you need to get you the ARP Head Bolts or studs. I have done some research on it and the studs and the heads are manufactured to ARP specifications so the head bolts and studs or the ones that I got is the ARP 2000s it's like 40% um, more strength than the OEM factory head bolts which is a one time use but the ARP head bolts is reusable so if you follow the specifications of the talking to, to ARP specifications using the lubrication and then obviously you'll be able to use it on uh, continuously so let me just go to the to the box and then we can see what we get in the pack. so this is the ARP box that it comes in as we can see that it's ARP automotive uh, racing prod products bolts and studs so I was looking for the studs which have the nuts as well but for that I don't know why you're in Cape Town that is much more expensive but it's the same tensile strength as the as the bolts and it is also ARP 2000s as well so if I open up the box this is what we get inside We get a notice, this box is needed for exchange or warranty. You must have the weight, date and pack, packer number from this box for all warranties and exchanges. And I'm probably sure that's the numbers that you need to contact. So we put that aside. We get the ARP Automotive Racing Products sticker. Put that there. And then we also get... The installation method for Pro Series head bolt kits. So we have our part number, we have for our application the VW Audi 1.8 liter uh, turbo, 20 valve turbo, and that's with the M10 head. So it also gives you some instructions what you need to do, what you need to look for. Uh, you need to clean the bolts before you use them, and then it also gives you the talk specifications as well and the sequence at the bottom here so following this uh, sequence with all these uh, talk settings and as well as the sequence over here ensures that your head will have the best possible secureness on your sub-assembly so if we put this aside and continue what's in the box so it's packed like that Let me remove that there's nothing in here Nothing in so then we also get our ARP Ultra Torque Fastener Assembly Lubricant and this is it's imperative for you to use this and put that aside and then we also get our 10 head bolts so I'll put up a picture what the studs look like but this is the head bolts the head bolts it is protected by the sleeves over here to ensure that the threading doesn't get nicked or anything like that um, there's nothing that I can really say of the overall finish it does look good quality there's no sharp edges over here or anything that's sticking out but still because I can't see anything with the eye I still need to do cleaning so if we remove this we can see that the threads are if we do a, an, ex, an inspection of it, we need to ensure that each thread is in very good condition before installation. We don't want cross threading or you don't want to thread it in and struggle to hand tighten it into your sub assembly. And if anything cross threads, you will have a ca catastrophic failure. So if we put that back on just to protect it. And then we can lay it out. So 
So there's nothing else in the box other than pictures. And that's it. And then uh, we can put that box aside. And then this is the standard OEM head bolt. And that's what it looks like there. So that's that right bit that I was talking about in the previous video. And you need that right bit in order for you to take these head bolts out. So if we compare to to one of these bolts, we slip that off, put it next to it. So we don't measure it from here because that section over there and there, that's going to be uh, meeting the surface of the cylinder head. So we measure them like that uh, within the structure of it as well. You can see that it's thicker over here than what it is there and we can also notice that the thread on the OEM head bulb is longer and on the ARP head bulb it's actually shorter. So in order for you to get the best possible performance out of your engine without having your cylinder head pop off your, 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 your bottom end, please ensure using ARP head bolts or the equivalent to ARP head bolts to secure your head to your block as good as possible. So depending on how much horsepower you plan on achieving, you need to also contact ARP and tell them what your application is and they will therefore then guide you or even try and manufacture some uh, a head bolt according to your specifications. So that is the head bolts. I hope you like the video and I hope you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.